You said last night we cannot get any worse than a bunch of scum, homophobic, racist, misogynist, absolute pile of banana, republic, Etonian piece of scum. Um, is that the kind of civility that the Starmer, Rayner, Labour Party envisages? Well, look, that was post-watershed, as we'd say, in, with a group of activists at an event last night. And, and what I was trying to get across, and this is the... And it is my passionate way in which I do it, is the anger and frustration that people feel when you have a Prime Minister who has said things and not apologised and that are racist, that are misogynistic, that are homophobic, that has given billions of pounds of taxpayers' money to their mates and literally wasted that money at a time when they're cutting universal credit, plunging families into crisis and the cost of living is going up, then my passion was about, look, we can't sit on the sidelines here. We have to get organised. And I was speaking to a group of activists to say, you've got to get that fire in your belly. The reason I was so upset about what the government did, especially on the school meals, was because yeah. I was a child that was hungry and I was a child that needed that support. And I remember Tory ministers at the time when I was 16 okay. saying women like me, girls like me at 16, were just getting pregnant to get council houses. So when the Prime Minister uses language like calling Muslim women letterboxes, that has an effect. And the fact that he hasn't apologised for that, then for me, I don't think he's fit to govern. And I was saying to a group of activists late at night, yeah. get your fire in your belly, we cannot sit on the sidelines anymore, we've got to get into power because we've got to yeah. make things better for ordinary working people of this country. Look, we can all get carried away, but you talked about a bunch of them. You talked about Tories in general. Um, no, let, let, me, let, 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 let me be clear. Well, I'm talking that, about members of the Cabinet. So you've got the Home Secretary who has bullied senior civil servants, okay. who breached the ministerial code, had private meetings without civil servants okay. present, the, and nothing's been done about that. We've had other Cabinet members that have said appalling things. Okay, so so being, I think this being, government, it's this government... We're being quite specific about who the scum are. Or do you want to give me a list of names? Well, I think anyone who leaves children hungry during a pandemic and can give billions of pounds to their mates on WhatsApp, I think that was pretty scummy. Now, that is a phrase, and let me contextualise it, it's a phrase that you would hear very often in northern working-class towns yep. that we'd, we'd even say it jovially to other people, you know, we say it's a scummy thing to do. And that, to me, is my street language, as you would say, about actually it's pretty appalling that people think that's OK to do.